During this lesson, we will construct the back side of pants by taking the front side and modifying it. We will demonstrate how to use the original pattern feature in StyleCAD. We begin with the front side. Select the pattern and type Control A to save the original pattern. Use the Delete key to remove lines. Notice the original pattern in light gray color. Use the Distance Adjust tool to widen the width. It can be used between two sections, two points, or a section and a point. A guideline can be created to go through any two points. Click inside the side ruler area with the control key down. Then, drag a line from the first point to the second point. Notice how we pan the working view with the space key down and dragging. You can drag an existing guideline with the control and the tab key down. You can even rotate a guideline using the rotate pattern tool if the guideline goes through the reference point. Adjust the length using the Length tool. The clicked end is where the length adjustment is made. Click inside the side ruler area with the control key down. Then, drag a line from the first point to the second point. Left click, type BB and right click to blend the hip curve. Move one of the red cross control points to shape the curve. Press the keep button or the enter key to finish. Now we add a dart on the waistline. Create a T-section 2.5 inches long using the Bezier Polyline tool. Switch to the Control Section tool with Spacebar and use the V Quick Step to add a dart with 7 8 inch width. Now we will demonstrate how to do dart blending. Select the Curve Blending tool. Select both sides of the dart shape. Drag a line from one side of the dart to the other side. Right click to start the blending. BB Quick Step selects the Bezier Control method. We use the Trace tool to create an actual pattern from the group of lines. In order to fill the dart, select the Dart Fill tool. Select both sides of the dart shape. Drag a line from one side of the dart to the other side. The dragging direction determines the dart folding direction. BB1 indicates Bezier blending with a curve point in the middle. The extra curve point with control points allows for a more complex curve shape. BB2 would give you two extra curve points, and so on. <laughs> 